made us own this list. <laughs> Marvel made so much money! I don't know how James Cameron does it. Like, how does he create these movies that just explode at the box office? So today, we wanted to put your pop culture movie knowledge to the test with a top 10 challenge. Ooh, okay, bring it on. Sometimes I do decently at these, and sometimes I'm so wrong that, like, I feel terrible. <laughs> we're going to be showing you the trailers for the top 10 highest grossing films of all time, not adjusted for inflation, and we're going to see if you can correctly place them in order. Okay, cool. I think I have a feeling of, like, what's, like, the top three, but I don't know if it's, like, changed recently or... No clue. This will be interesting to, like figure out how to rate them <laughs> based upon the money versus how popular they were. Yeah, this will be kind of interesting to do. What? Oh, Fast and Furious? Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting this one. What? I'm honestly surprised. How many of these are there, like 10? All right, this might be real. This looks like, if you guys are starting like this, this looks like it's gonna be tough. What is this, like Fast Five? This is the one, the last one with uh, Paul Walker, which was a good movie. Okay, oh God, Furious 7. Since I know nothing about this one, I'm just gonna guess number seven, because it's Furious 7. I'm not a huge fan of the series, but it was really good. This movie was solid. I'm gonna say <laughs> number seven. Let's go with number seven. Very fitting. I'm gonna go with seven, because it's seven, and I'm like, I feel, I'm feeling lucky. I'm going to, I'm sure like many others, I'm gonna place Furious 7 at seven. Show me my respect in oh, Black Panther. Get to okay. What kind of This broke a lot of records, though. Oh, I knew the stats like when it first came out, but it's been like a year, so I don't know. Yes. Wow, these graphics, amazing. Okay. I saw this when it came out, but there's so many Marvel movies now, you're like, what freaking year is it? Well, this movie freaking slap. Kendrick's soundtrack on it too, oh. Michael B. Jordan looking like a straight up dime. I'm gonna say four. Number two, but I might change it at the end. I know Black Panther kill it. So, so I'm gonna put it at number two. The concept is to drive the- Oh, Avatar! Control. I just watched this the other week. I'm like, when is the second one coming out? Mixed with DNA of the natives. Marine. I love this movie too. God, I love all of these. Looks like you. This is your Avatar. Okay, this movie was number one for a long time. It shouldn't be hard for you. But I know it's not number one anymore. Why did everyone go see Avatar? I saw this movie twice. I don't even remember why. I think it was because it was the first movie that had like 3D, and like really good 3D. Now I want to watch it again. Aren't they coming out with like multiple more? There you go, James Cameron making that bank. I'm a little biased. I actually used to work um, at Disney. I worked uh, at Pandora, the land that they opened up for um, Avatar, I was there. We had to figure out, like, how do we get people to, like, remember this stuff? It's interesting uh, how big it got, but how little we sometimes will remember the things from that movie. I'm gonna put it at two. Number two. I know where that is for sure. Number two! Because Avengers literally just passed it. There was an idea. Oh, is this Avengers? Which one is it though? Group of remarkable people. Because that's the thing, I'm sure there's probably multiple of these. I saw this movie like five times. So when we need it. Oh, them, Hawkeye. Oh, look at, they're just little babies. I fell asleep watching that. Literally, I'm not a Marvel person. Avengers. The first one? I remember watching this. Oh my God, I was so hyped over superheroes at the time. Like I remember just like, my little heart was like, ah, this is so epic. Put that at number six, cause we know it's good, but it ain't that good. I put it at four. It was a big one. People really were excited to see these worlds collide. I'm gonna place that at number six. There's another Marvel movie. Oh, surprise. The Avengers again. Marvel, you're, they're really killing it. Oh, the whole basher, let's go. 
See, I didn't see this one. I don't even know what number this one is. Oh, oh Age of Ultron. <laughs> That's the one Avengers movie I forget about completely. That one was exciting because everybody was like in that one. I'm gonna put that at nine. I'm gonna have to put it below the original. I'd assume. So I'll put it eight. Since that's after the first Avengers, it would get more attention and like more people would start hopping on the bandwagon to go see those movies. I'm gonna put it above Avengers, just number five. You gotta be kidding me. It's my boy though. Oh, I wish I was wearing my Thanos jewelry today. Which Avengers is this? Evacuate the city. Is this Endgame or Infinity War? This is Infinity War. And I loved Infinity War. The snap heard round the world. They just own this list. <laughs> Marvel made so much money. <laughs> Such a good soundtrack. Okay. Oh gosh, Avengers are everywhere. Whoo! Whoo! Damn! I want to go see it now. I'm gonna put it at number four. It's number four, but I'm gonna have to change these around. I'm gonna go with number two, but this is really tricky because there's so many Marvel movies. <laughs> The song every time a clip starts. <laughs> the same song. I saw Avengers, Avengers, Avengers. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Gosh. Some do. The man us. This was I. This was iconic. Ant Man. Oh, this was a sh show. This movie. We owe this. Everybody was in it. To everyone who's not in this room. Even people who aren't into superheroes or Marvel or anything went to go see it. This movie was really good. I haven't even seen all of the Avengers, obviously, but I was like, wow, this is a great movie. It's so good. I got goosebumps all over again. Didn't get to see the extended version, though I really wanted to. I think it's still in theaters. I could probably still add to this. I watched Endgame three times when it was in theaters. I'd definitely go watch it a fourth. Number two. Like, I feel like that's a, an easy one. Number one, baby. Number one. It's number one. And if it isn't, I'm going to feel very bamboozled. <laughs> I already filled up my top four. And clearly that's number one because I've been watching the news on this movie. So, but I have to put it at number five, but I'll switch it at the end. <laughs> We have learned more in the past decade from Jurassic Park? Park? Than a or is this Jurassic World? Oh, I wish it was Jurassic Park. Frontier has opened up. I guess if it's we just box office, a lot of people were excited for the nostalgia. I saw this in theaters, so I pitched in. You just went and made a new dinosaur? Yeah, they did. Yeah, this movie was a big deal too because all the people who love Jurassic Park were like, oh, we're coming back. Chris Pratt's in it. Even better. Okay. I remember this one. I remember when this trailer came out. It was such like a, they were just like, they were just grabbing the nostalgia to bring all these people to come and see it. I would have expected the original to make more, but sequel sell. I have to put it at eight. I'm gonna put Jurassic World as number nine. I'm sure it made a lot of money, but not as much as the Avengers. I'm gonna say it's number three. These are all crazy, like big box office hits. It's hard to place anyone anywhere. I was waiting. I was like, where's Star Wars in this mix? Okay, I'm gonna have some serious rearranging to do because <laughs> I did not account for Star Wars. I don't know why. They're real. So epic. I've been a big Star Wars fan since I was a kid, so I was really excited when, uh, you know, they were finally releasing episode seven. I'm not even into Star Wars and I saw this. Despite what people say, I really enjoy this movie and I'm really enjoying the entire series, you know? The, the... I've really been enjoying the, the new trilogy. There are so many people excited about this movie coming out and it was just like a new casting and different. I'm gonna put it as eight. I have to say number nine because I think it's up there. I'm gonna have to really adjust some of this. It hurts me to have to put it at number nine. I don't think it's there, but we'll swap it up later. I'm gonna put it at five. Hope this last one's <laughs> not that popular. <laughs> when the ship ah, Titanic. How did I not think of that? <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. I fucking love this movie. Uh, this movie tears at my heartstrings. I don't know how James Cameron does it. Like, how does he create these movies that just 
explode at the box office. God almighty. Wow. I'll never let go. Oh, she did though. Dual VHS release. Gosh, what a weird time. When I watched it back in the days, they had the two tapes. So I just put the second tape in just to see the people die. It sounds jacked up, Lord forgive me. They're gonna watch that movie 500 years from now. People are still gonna be watching it. They might not be watching the Marvel movies, I'm sorry Marvel, but they will watch this movie. Even looking at it right now, it's just like goosebumps. Now that all these other movies are here, I think it does go in 10. So I'm, yeah, I think maybe it was meant for me to just leave 10 open. I have to put a 10 because that's all I have, but like, that, that's high up there and I know it. <laughs> so now we're gonna give you a chance to rearrange. Okay. Endgame is one, Avatar is two. I'm gonna say Titanic is three. And then that's when I get stuck. So as a reminder, you get one point if you're one off, two if you're right on the money. All right. So here's the actual order going from number 10 to number one. Number 10 is Black Panther. Oh no! Got that wrong. They grossed $1.35 billion. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy, I really thought they killed it. Why did I think they killed it? Really? I was so, like, I almost changed that, but I was like, no, there's no way it's that far down the list. Number nine is Avengers Age of Ultron. Dang. <laughs> Dang, I'm not doing very well at all, wow. It was that grossed $1.4 billion. That's crazy. Yes. I got that one. Age of Ultron, I put eight. So I got one point. Number eight is Furious 7. Okay, got that one right. Got one, okay. Yeah, got that right. Yes. That one grossed 1.516 billion. Yes. Dang. Unreal. So I wouldn't get a point. I moved everything like one off. I had Furious 7 as seven and I moved it to six for the Furious 6 because I'm a freaking idiot. Number seven is The Avengers, the original. <clears throat> it grossed $1.518 billion. Holy crap. I, yeah, I put the original Avengers, I put that at 10. Well, I put that at number nine. I changed that to number eight. I put Avengers 1 at eight. Oh man, I'm missing all these by like one. Yes, that's so crazy, dude. Keep going, keep going. Number six is Jurassic World. Ah, oh, so close, again. That one grossed <laughs> $1.67 billion. Dang! Okay. I put that at five, though. So do I get a point? Yeah. Yes! I That one is number nine, LOL. It was a good movie, and a lot of people went to go see it, but I just expected it to be so much further down the list. Number five is Avengers Infinity War. Dang, what did I put that? Oh, I put that as four! So you get another point? Nice! That one grossed $2 billion. Oh my gosh, just hearing this. That money, wow. I did that as four. Well, you get one point for that, because okay. it's one off. Okay. I had that as number three. So again, one off from everything. Huh? Number four is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Okay. And they grossed $2.1 billion. Wow, that's so much money. That's crazy. Oh, I got that right. Yeah. I see, that's what I had for five. Okay. I was one off there. I set up five. Oh, I'm missing all these by one. Number three is Titanic. Really? And that one grossed $2.19 billion. It was like a love story for some people, so I could see that. I am shocked after all this time. I thought because it was so old that it would be down on the list. Boom, right on the money. Yeah, I got that right too. What's up? Number two is Avatar grossing $2.78 billion. Yup. Oh! I got that right too. I feel like that was because Avatar was such a monumental movie and like the film industry, like all the effects and everything, everyone was just like so enamored by it. Meaning the highest grossing film of all time is Avengers Endgame, which just recently took the number one spot grossing over $2.79 billion. Wow. That is so crazy. That is insane. I got that one right. <laughs> I was so surprised that so many Marvel films were on this list. I didn't realize how many of them were just like absolutely just wrecking the box office. It's amazing to me that Endgame had to like, basically like, oh, excuse me, James Cameron. Oh, James Cameron, I need you to get out of the way both times and then took over like, wow. That's crazy. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React, and shout out to Anna. If your heart will go on, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. What movie do you think deserves the top spot? Let us know in the comments. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Adults React. If you wanna see more content from us across all the generations, we have plenty of episodes, so check it out. Links are gonna be down in the description. Bye everyone.